everybody, uh, Jamie again here with Real Caliber Outdoorsman. Uh, today I'm going to tie, uh, tie a salmon fly here for you. Um, there last year, 2013, we uh, took a trip there to the Humber River as you guys know from our videos. And uh, last evening there, I ended up catching a salmon on this fly here. Now it, uh, it resembles the uh, blue charm. Um, blue charms typically tied with, uh, I believe, a gray squirrel, gray squirrel tail for the wing. Now I'm going to put a little bit of moose hair in there. Um, the body is similar to the uh, blue charm with uh, the black, with a little bit of tinsel running through it there. But anyway, fly uh, fly works for me, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start tying. So I'll start with right in there at the head. <coughs> Again, put down a base of thread. That's what I like to do. Some people, you know, you choose what you like to do. Whatever, whatever tickles your fancy, right? On the back. <clears throat> so I'm going to tie in a little bit of uh, number 14 uh, tinsel. Put a little bit of tinsel at the back there at the butt. Again, I'm gonna run my tinsel right through my body. Just to give it a little more strength. the last fish of the of the trip that we caught there I was uh, I was actually listening to my uncle Richard uh, who you guys see in some of the videos here he was talking to uh, a couple young fellas there from from Newfoundland and uh, they had just caught a fish so my uncle asked him what you catch that on he said oh that fly with the red butt that he gave me so I overheard that and I said geez you know the night's uh, the night's disappearing here, the light's going down, or, you know, <laughs> I got to get something going. So anyway, looked in the box, sure enough, had a little fly there that um, Uncle Richard gave me, red butt on it. I didn't know what it was called. I just heard red butt and I went with it. Anyway, a few casts out there, felt a little tap. I said, geez, that was a fish. So I uh, brought the fly back, cast her back out, and then boom, it was on. So, uh, I don't know, just... Kind of eavesdropping a little bit on there, the fishermen there on the river, but hey, got me a fish, right? So now we're going to tie in some Chinese red. You're going to stretch. But uh, yeah, this fly is a nice, uh, nice fly. Now I'm tying it on a number six hook. Uh, the one I caught it on, I think it was probably about a number, I don't know, number eight or number ten. It was a smaller fly. But uh, smaller fly usually use it with uh, with low water, and the bigger flies for the higher water, right? But uh, it's good to have a little bit of everything in your box when you're out there on the river, because you never know, right? So I just wind this right through. Again, I start towards the the, the eye of the hook and work my way back. That way it keeps the body nice and uniform. So we're going to have a little bit of tinsel at the butt. And a little bit of a red butt. And we're going to our way forward. You guys are getting your flies all tied up for the upcoming season. I know I'm getting prepared here. So we'll tie that off there. 
like I say, I'm not really trying to teach you guys how to tie flies. I'm just showing you what works for us. Okay, now I'm going to take a little bit of a silver tinsel here. It's just really fine. Okay, I'm going to tie that in. Tie that in towards the back. We'll make this go towards the back end of the fly. On the opposite side of what I'm tying here. Okay, that my spring. Go forward. I'm going to tie in some uh, black Black unit stretch here. Black unit stretch. And again, I double it up. Makes things go faster. Tied in towards the eye, or at the eye here, and then make my way towards the back of the fly. Yep. Get that all wound in there. start to see this coming together here and wrap towards the front The tinsel hanging out here on my side. Okay, so now we're gonna wrap our tinsel through the body. Cut that off. Okay, now we're gonna tie in. The uh, blue and the blue charm. It's gonna be a throat right there, that's the throat material. Blue Charm is a very, very popular fly in Newfoundland. If you guys do any research on uh, salmon fish in Newfoundland through the Maritimes, you know, Blue Charm's one of the most popular ones there. But, uh, like I say, this is just a little a variance of, of that fly. A little 
little bit of throat there. I'm gonna put a little bit more actually. All right, so I got some more uh, hackle here, blue hackle. Tie this in. Off up the front here, up the up of the eye. Okay, now for a little bit of uh, moose hair. So I'm gonna take a little bit of moose hair here. And uh, just trim off a little bit, put it in my stacker, get all the ends even, and go from there. And I'm not going to make a real big uh, wing on this, but uh, just a little bit of hair there sticking out, right? So I'll take a little bunch that and uh, I'll thin it out and uh, put in a stacker A pretty thin wing there. That's what I want. I don't want too much hanging up there. Yeah, that'll do for me. Trim the hairs off up by the top here for the eye. Gets a little thick up there, right? So, and then what I like to do with these uh, these hair wing flies, I like to put a little dab of cement up through the top. I'm going to wrap my head off there just to help lock it in place later on. Okay, so here we go. Wrap this head up here nice and tight. Hopefully, the line, the thread won't break. I just like to hang on to my wing there while I'm coming on to it there, right? So. When you're tying these salmon flies, you know, you want to, especially with this type of hook, 
want to make sure you leave enough room up front there you get your line in there I find I get a sometimes I get the head on there too big and I don't give my enough my, myself enough room to actually tie the hook on so but uh, we're gonna give it a little whip finish here even that with that wing I could have went with less maybe the next few that I tie I'll have less hair on them like I said just just enough to get it uh, you know a little bit of appearance there Let whip finish this off cut and give it some head cement Even give a little shot back here in the tinsel. Won't hurt anything, just strengthen it up, right? There we go. Salmon fly that catches fish on the Humber. Right there. Not that hard to tie, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Tight lines. See you again. Thanks now. Thanks for watching. Real Caliber Outdoors.